Hello and welcome back to Let's Play Super Robot Tyson OG and I said last time that we were going to talk about parts so let's talk about parts. Now, uh, well actually one thing first, Ryusei now, um, now, Ryusei's Type TT Geshprint, which I think is how you pronounce it, is no, no longer exists, he is now replaced with a Wild Rebeteer. Wild Raptor, I think it's called, but uh, we'll deal with that later. Now, parts. Each mech can equip a certain number of parts, ranging from one to four. I think that four is the maximum. I've yet to see a mech that has more than four. And the parts give certain buffs, like Servo Motor gives mobility plus five. Um, it can also there are some parts that increase movement, like this. Um, there's some that increase, um, that help your terrain bonuses. Yeah. Um, hit rates up. Uh, the best ones, in my opinion, are ones that give you increased HP and armor. And then there are expendables, which are the repair kit, fuel tank, and cartridge, which restores HP, energy, and ammo for all of them. Uh, before the next battle, I'm going to equip the Hagane with the Chotam armor because usually if the Hagane dies, it's game over. And it's always good to have that extra defense. Um, everybody else, I think, is fine. I kind of want to equip Ryusei with more uh, dodging power. And yeah. Uh, another thing that I want to do first is... Well, hold on, first, this is Wild Rabbiteer, it's not the R1, you don't get the R1 just yet, but the Wild Rabbiteer can transform into a plane, which you will probably be seen in the future. I'm do that, and let me put increase the mobility on that. Upgrading requires a lot of money, and you don't have a machine gun, you need to, you need to fix that. Oh no, you do have a machine gun. It's just way in the back for some reason. Wait, no, it's not. It's right here. What am I saying? Um, now, I want to start getting kills with Ryusei now that he has a somewhat decent mech that's not a Geshprit. Because there's a secret later on that requires him getting at least 50 kills. And I want to start working on that. Shotgun is also very useful, so upgrade that. And is there anything else that I want? Oh yeah, um... Will the Increase your homing missile power. So you can kill shit faster. Alright, let's get started with episode 9. Now if you recall last time we were heading towards a meteorite... Um, a meteorite island. Or an island where a meteorite crashed, but the DC has a base on it. Hachijo Island. And we will be arriving there shortly. Good to know. No enemy movement? So that's good. Yeah, it's strange that they're not chasing us from Kyushu. And the Hagane can also dive underwater. Yep, we can dive deeper than a submarine because we're a spaceship. Yeah, Kusuha is somewhere on the ship. What? We're underwater. Yep. Now uh, this is what I call a ship. Ah, oh, come on, you say. <laughs> I didn't think they were cheesy last night. Oh, there's Kusuha. Yeah, I'm sorry, I'm a bit delayed. I, uh... Alright, I's father, who I completely forgot who it is. <laughs> it's probably been explained already. Alright, we're passing lad to 30. Current depth is 3,000. 
nothing on the radar yet. Hmm. 10,000 meters steep, not even the Hagenet can survive that. Must be more dense than space. Torpedo! Torpedoes bearing 287, whatever that means. I'm not a military guy. That is one really long horn. Fire, okay, so what happened? Five down, one to go. We got hit by a torpedo. Underwater. Episode 9, Silent Service. Torpedo hit the starboard aft. The Tesla drive is down. Which means now... Which means we're sinking. Enemy subs in front of us. We can't launch our PTs either. So, this chapter, it's just the Hagane. Idonius Island. So we have to make it to the very bottom row before we die. Now, we can't... Um, kind of want to do one thing. Oh, we can't upgrade the Hagane. Well, we can't deploy any unit, so it's just us. And our... And we don't... Unfortunately, we don't have a cell. Now looking at the map, it's not a very big map, we, there are five enemy subs and only one of us. So the best thing to do is guard. Maybe guarding on the second turn would have been better. But we're underwater so Torpedo has an S rank. Fortunately they have long range missiles. Right. Let's watch this. This is going to be a relatively short chapter. This can also be a grinding chapter for uh, money, uh, because unlike because unlike most other strategy games, <laughs> that's so little damage. Um, unlike other strategy games, if you fail a chapter, you get to wait. Why did he use the impact cannon? That's terrible underwater. Um, hmm. Yeah, the pressure will kill us. But if you fail a chapter, you get to keep the money and experience that you get. So, essentially, you can grind the Hagen up to level 99 if you have enough patience. What? Tesla drive is not functioning. Damn it. This isn't good. Oh no. Getting pulled by gravity. Oh no. Four more, l four more minutes. We have to escape from this battle in four minutes. And we're gonna get, and we're gonna go into space from underwater. So once again, make it to the bottom. You have five turns to do it. Basically, if you move at the maximum downwards, you will make it. The other subs won't do much. That sip is leading the ambush. I think it's this one that they're talking about. I'm um, just wondering. Long range missiles. It's an A in water instead of an S. They should be using torpedoes, but. Eh. That was a good time to use guard. Because of those enemy boats, right? Subs right there. Excuse me. Now we can attack them. They'll barely scratch us because we're badass like that. And just wondering, impact cannon. Oh, it's an A in water. I thought it was an S because I thought it would be a beam weapon. But it's not. So deals more damage than the torpedo. So we're going to use the impact cannon. If you want, um, you can. Oh, I'm going to finish this next turn. But if you want, you can just stick around and kill all of the enemy subs for the experience and money. In fact, that might not be a bad idea. Um, oh, the battle mastery is to shoot down all enemies, so that's what we are going to do. Unfortunately, there's no way to deal more damage. 
So we're just gonna stick right we're just gonna stay right here. And start sinking enemy ships. Get us that money and that experience. Unfortunately I think that we might run out of energy, I hope not. Yeah, we're gonna run out of energy soon because of the barrier, and there's no way to turn the barrier off to my knowledge. So now we can only use torpedoes, which is fine, because it deals just as much damage. If anything, um, that will actually take damage. Uh, turn 5, we have to leave here on turn 6, so this is the last chance that we have to blow up enemy ships. So just stay here, use guard if you have the extra um, SP, but torpedoes are just fine. Torpedoes don't run on energy, I believe. And now we get the battle mastery point. So now we're at this. Okay, we're at the surface now. That was fast. Yep. We are a spaceship, so we can go to space by ourselves if we want. Yeah, it used to be the captain of the Hiryu. Which is some other spaceship, I think. Alright. Oh, Hagane is out of the water now. Oh, so Garnet's getting wise about Kusua and Ryusei. Not like that. Yeah, Ryusei loves robots. In fact, imagine if there was a robot in the shape of a female. Ha <laughs> ah. ha. Ah. Ah, that's not gonna happen, is it? Nah. I, I know if it's gonna happen or not. Apparently, Gun is gonna get try to get Kusuo and Ryusei together. Oh, and now Erm gets the Hucklebine 009. But, well, it's two better than the double, than 007. Oh. He was on the he was on the PTX team led by Major Ingram. Yeah, the PTX team came before the XR, the SRX and ATX teams. Still not as good as the 008L. It's better, but not as good. How does that even work? It's got a different power source. Just use this guy in the next battle. No, we don't know how robots work. The three Hucklebines. The, the 008L, the 008R, and the 009. They have different power sources. So it doesn't have a normal engine. The double o, the double o eight L and the double o eight R were employed by EOT, and they were black. Wait, what? Black hole engines? Oh no. Oh. So th could that have something to do with Rice Hand? It's a test pilot. Oh, that's. Unfortunate. So that's why you don't see many Hucklebines around. They're mostly guest sprints. Guest sprints. No, he didn't tell us. Black Hole Engine was alien technology. Okay. But now we get the Hucklebine 009, which is Erm's default unit instead of um, uh, which is Erm's default unit instead of a guest sprint mark 2M. So Latuni apparently gets the guest sprint mark 2 that Erm had. But no, I meant to. Is this the same one? Well, it has as a machine gun, but 
So this is obviously not a Gundam, as you can clearly see. Just putting that th out there, that, that this is not a Gundam. Whatever happened? Oh, right, Ingram has the shotgun. And that is not a Gundam. So, just putting that out there, not Gundams. Do we have any spare? Oh yeah, we do have some spare weapons. Which we will equip next time on Let's Play Super Robot Tyson. I will see you guys later.